come out. David Mack, I'm not interested in your education. I'm interested in your inventions. It's Mr. Inventor. He's side Dave. Now, Davey Mack, what uh, got you involved in the inventions? Uh, specifically, the pitch men got me involved in inventions. Different pitch men. I don't mean the actual show. Uh, but the actual show is when you start to tell yeah, us yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the show, because of Billy Mays mm -hmm. and guys like that. Yeah, um, now you, you've had how many inventions so far? I've had over 30 inventions. How many have been bought? So far, zero. So far, zero. But I still believe a couple of my uh, inventions are, you know, could be uh, come onto the market. It would be fantastic if that did happen. It's a dream. But you think you could be another Ron Popeil. Who? Ron Popeil, who just had several, you know, products that he pitched on, on television. Blowhard, is that you? I'm trying to say I'm okay. in trouble with these glasses. It's me, Fez. Why do you always go back to the 70s? Well, is actually, always... I know who Ron Popeil is. I know all about I'm every tough. pitch man. Because you're as old as dirt. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm 30. Then you look like shit. One. Forgot how old I was for a sec. But I love all pitch men because, you know, that's my thing. Well, let's, uh, it doesn't matter how you pitch, brother. It's got to matter what the invention is. All right. Give us an invention that we can use, all of us. Okay. Hair dryers are outdated and mm. fans are antiquated. And how in the world will you get your hair dry without the torture of a towel? Relax. It's the hair hood. The hair hood fits comfy on your head with electronic patches on the inside that warm and dry your hair, leaving you free to do more important things like brushing your teeth or changing the channel. No more exhausting energy spent on drying, no. It's the hair hood. Twenty nine ninety five. here's how to order. So what is the invented as a hat? That's what it sounds like. No, it's a hood, and it ties easily around your throat, and it's going to have little patches, electronic patches, a hood. Oh, you and mean a hair dryer? No, 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 Mr. Beak, because it's it's hands free. You're not you know, like the old fashioned hair dryer, not the kind that you hold, but the kind that they would have for ladies in the old days. Well, those are those weren't those curlers. Those weren't exactly no, hair. No, they were hair dryers. You yeah. would hook it up to the vacuum cleaner. And they were a hood? Were they a hood? that you? Because yeah. there's, there's no hookup with the hair hood. It's you think it's a good idea to have any product that ties around the throat? Um, yeah, because these are, these are like shoelace-type materials. I, some of your, uh, your inventions are yeah. shit. Some oh. of them, like the helicopter oh. jack and ride, is well. absolutely fantastic. Right. I'd move this over into shit, Fuzzy. I don't get it. He's invented a hair dryer. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah What's the Mack. name of this product, though? The name of this part is the hair hood. Hair hood. It's got alliteration. You know, it's simple. Um, some things are, you know, have a, a fancy name. Some things don't need to. It's it's all about, you know, convenience. Want to feel good? The hair hood. Oh, good. Let me write that down. Is it cordless? Yes, it's cordless. The batteries are in the hood. Mm -hmm. And all it is is just it's a hood, and then you'll tie it around your neck. And you can walk about doing things. Better Eat your idea? Breakfast. Boys in the hood. Called Boys in the Hood. Well, that's a movie by John Singleton. That's yeah. not what we're going for. Our batteries kind of uh, heavy. See, and it seems Small. like it's going to take a lot to, you know, Small keep your batteries. head. Steven Strong Island, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey guys, uh, Dave. Yeah. A couple questions on your uh, hair hood. Okay. One, um, how are you going to heat it? Is it going to be ceramically heated? And uh, how how many? What kind of batteries are you going to use to charge this? Because to heat anything takes more energy than to cool. Right. And third. Yeah. And third, what would you do? Watch a movie from the fucking fifties in a in a beauty parlor and say I could put that on my head? No, 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 no. Yeah, it things... really does come off sounding that way. Here's Chad in Tennessee. Chad. I've been trying to get through one eight hundred or one eight six six Ron Zero Eight Cranky. Uh, doesn't <laughs> ring there. So. Oh, well, it's not it going will. to. It will in the future. Hey, Dave. What? Uh, how does the hair hood work when you're brushing your TV? Uh, brushing your TV. Brushing your teeth. Is it a good idea to have electronics there near the water? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Because you're while you're brushing your teeth, it's not going. You're not going to be touching the hair hood with water. My hair know? hood's a failure. Let's move on, Davy Mac. You're and can I tell you something? You sound defensive. You don't sound happy. You don't sound excited. You're like it's a hair hood, Mister B. You already sound like you're losing. You got to make us believe. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened. Okay. 
Here we go. You're scared for your family and maybe your life because you keep losing your bills. Well, here comes Billy Boxy to the rescue. Billy Boxy, a fun storage container with a Wild West cow cowboy glued to the outside. Whenever you get the bill, simply press a button that makes Billy Boxy's head hat go up. Slide the bill underneath. Then, inside, the hat will electronically read when your bill is due. Billy Boxy will then have a six-shooter alarm sounding you to send it in. Have fun and be responsible with Billy Boxy. Thirty-nine ninety-five. Fuzzy, what's he selling on this one? An inbox. Mm. So basically, all it is is an inbox for you to keep mm. your bills in. It, no, it's now, it's got a cowboy on the uh, on, on it, like uh, Bill Box. Right. But instead, you are most a people paying online now? Oh gosh, no, no. My parents still use the uh, the old mail, and so do I. All right, so this is something for the elderly. Exactly. No, you can be right. thirty-one like me. The alarm's right. gonna have to be really loud. Yeah, elderly. Oh. All right, let, re repeat it again. What does the Billy Boxy do? Okay, well the Billy Boxy is a fun storage container with a cowboy on the outside. You press a button, and his hat goes up. Then you slide your bills underneath the hat, which will electronically read when the bill is due. Then a sound alarm will go mm. off telling you, send in the bills. It's fun, it's quaint, it's antiquitous, and it's responsible. <laughs> All right, here's the problem, Fuzzy. It seems like... He's getting worse and worse at his pitching. Right. That, yeah. Yeah. This is worse. Yes. I'm trying my best. Um. Now, wouldn't you just, um, wouldn't you just get the bill, pay the bill? Wouldn't that be the easiest way? That would be. That would keep you out of all the trouble that Billy Boxy is supposed to save you from. No, Ron. Not <laughs> everyone has time to send their bills in right away. Some Whoa. people have to budget, like Davy Mac. Yeah. I only send them in on the 15th. <laughs> so it's not so much that it's time, right. but it's no money. Exactly. <laughs> you're, about, you're precisely correct. But at the same time, Ron, yeah. I always forget when my bills are due. So Billy what, Boxy. Why don't you just come up with Deadbeat Bucket, where <laughs> you're Ron. buying stuff that you can't afford Throw those things in your deadbeat bucket. Come Where can on. I get one of those? Uh, Ed in Long Island, what do you got for me, buddy? Dave, I got to tell you, man, Billy Mays is rolling over in his grave right now. That's the now. scariest Why? thing I've ever heard. If that's true, I'm fucking freaking out. Don't say that. He's one of my three heroes. Mm. Uh, here is uh, Keith in New Jersey. Hey, Dave, I got a problem. Sure. Um, I bought Billy Boxy. And my baby was shot by the six shooter. Oh, my friend, it's a sound effect. It's not really a bullet shooting weapon. All right, Dave has uh, come up with a, a weird kind of marketing idea here. He is selling um, a product to people who already can't afford. And the big problem for you is that you can't sell. Okay. Where mm -hmm. is the enthusiasm? You right. need to be able to sell a product right. like you mean it. You sound too let down. I'm trying. You need to be able to sell a product like this gentleman can sell. Oh, my gosh. It's a ShamWow guy. It's Vince Offer. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. What's Vince Offer? It's too much love. Wow. This is too much love. <laughs> too much love. What are you doing? Who's, who, who's going to be the pitch man? You're going to be D a Dave is a chip, a, a pitch man, and he's yeah, well, terrible. You know I was going to say he's he's terrible, but his red hair is going to just sell it. The red uh, hair that that is a helpful thing. You know, for him? everything else was bad, but the red hair is going to do it. It will scare housewives. He's got the beard, definitely. <laughs> oh my God! Now you've sold how many of the shampoos over the year? I've sold like fifty million. Fifty million. Holy. I mean, you know, yeah. Dave, how many of your products have ever sold? Zero so far. Hey, well, it's a good start. I can't you believe start. I'm meeting you. This is like the best day get of my out. life. I'm serious. Well, we had this. We had this lined up for <laughs> you, Dave. Right, he's gonna have to get a shower for free at least. He is honestly. Aww. He's been. We got trying... two hot girls too. Behind us. That, that's what. That's gonna. <laughs> no, who are the ladies Hi, you have ladies. with you? Courtney Bingham. Yeah. Kelly Brady. Hello. Yeah. Courtney Hi. works for our company. Kelly's one of our PR people. Hi. How are you guys doing? It is good to uh, surround yourself with attractive people. Yes, it gets the nerves out. It gets, yeah. you know, and, and you know he's wow. attractive too. Uh, I can't believe he's here in person. He is here in I person. I can't believe it.
Uh, so that maybe you can start make something out of yourself. All right. Holy shit. Are you going to audition for me or something? Yeah, he's ready to audition. All right, why don't you give him one, okay. sell one of your products, all right, all right. and really legitimately right. okay. try to make this thing happen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves string cheese. I know I do. But why is string cheese only available? Well, your prayers have been answered with the Stringinator, an easy-to-use plastic sphere with a cylinder cut out that allows you to make other string foods. Ever had string burgers? Probably not. <laughs> string apple? I didn't think so. And if you said string lasagna, you'd probably be lying. <laughs> Mr. Offer, life is a democracy, and so too should string foods be. The Stringinator, $39.95. Here's how to order. Okay, uh, what do I buy one? This guy, I yeah. swear to God. They you, 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 you think I thought it was going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah, I was really expecting He's actually, if I die, he's going to sell the shampoo for now. It would be perfect. Now. I'll sign Holy right now. Moses. I'll sign right now. Well, that's good because you guys you seem to die young. So you got to be very... <laughs> no, well, not me, be, but... Yeah. Oh, not you. Okay. Almost. I had an accident um, two weeks ago. That was... Well, let's not talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about Father. I think he's going to be a big star. Yeah. Uh, what are, now the sham oil sold so well, but you worried that you're just attached to the one product or you can, no, I'm t now you, you chop it, you know, you yeah. put like potatoes, you know, your nuts, whatever in there. And, uh, Steve here created a whole rap song around it, and it's like number two on YouTube. It's crazy. Now, Steve, why, why would you, uh, do a rap song? About a product well, that Vince is pushing. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I obviously saw the brilliance in Vince's marketing, and I was like, I'm already coming from the dance music field, so when I when I saw the uh, infomercial, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put his infomercial into a dance remix, and, you know, I didn't expect anything from it, but the thing just took off. It was blow up. Uh, so did you do it just for fun, like for a joke? Well, I mean, it's I can't. I guess I kind of knew what I was doing because yeah. obviously it came together. But uh, no, I mean it was just a, a for good humor. I was showing it my my friends, my mom. She's like, oh, that's great. And then all of a sudden we had like fifty eight thousand hits on YouTube in like two days. And so sometimes the greatest things come from mistakes, right? You know, actually, uh, uh, Corny's. I don't want to tell it what her product is. It's a swimmer line. Uh -huh. But it, it, it's just from a mistake, some concept, and now it's like going to be this big thing we're going to push out next year. A swimwear line? Yes, it's a it's a swimwear cover up. It's really really cute. All right, so it's a cover up. Makes you look that, thin. That you wear over top of your bathing suit. Correct, but it makes yeah. you look two sizes smaller. Uh, so it's every girl's new best friend at the yeah. beach. I'll order two then. So oh. yeah. everybody wants one. You could look thinner if you shaved your back at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably what you need. It would take an inch off my hump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know, what? I saw when he did the, the slap chop, uh, yeah. the, the 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 rap, and I'm, I'm like on YouTube and like three million hits in like a month. I'm like, well, is that normal? And then I went. And I saw Eminem's was like at four million, so I'm like, and then Boom Boom Pow, which is like the uh, what's black that? Eyed, black black eyed eyed piece. Piece. Yeah, it's like at five million. So God, we're like up there with the pros. So I'm right. like, okay, well, let's try to get this on the radio. And so we're like, you know, and that's yeah. what we're here with you guys. It's our first time here. Uh, so. do, you, do you know that right there across from us is Shady Forty Five is Eminem's radio station? Look at that. Oh, no so kidding. Wow. no kidding. Uh, the next White Hope right here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you want to jump in? Why don't we do this? Can we play a little bit of of what you put together? Absolutely. All right, let's give this a try. And what you want to do after this is just bum rush Eminem. I don't yeah. know whether he's on the air right now. but it's just throw CDs all around him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll just give you a commission. Just hook us up. Yeah. Have already, right? Yeah, we, we, we have. We, uh, he handed it to him. All right, so let's give it a play. One slap, you can pick chunks for the stew. Two slaps, don't rise in the second. And look at us with your hat and mushroom. The more you do it, the finer it gets with switch and brain. Now, you love salad. You hate makes up. You know you hate makes salad. You hate makes up. Something will have any salad in your diet. Watch this one slap. Salad. A soup, cool, small stuff. And watch five seconds. Four or five seconds, it's done. This thing is tuna. It's boring. Stop having the boring tuna. Stop having the boring life. Add this tuna. Make it like this. Now you're gonna have a nice, exciting life. Now, here's a hard boiled egg. One chunk and a pickle. You add the green. And what you can do, you can mix things together. You add ham. And you're gonna love this. You don't have time to make breakfast. Breakfast to go. Watch this, you're gonna love my nuts. Watch this, you're gonna love my nuts. Watch this, you're gonna watch this, you're gonna watch this, 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 watch
your cilantro, your hot peppers right there. You can hit it like this. Hit it like this. Hit it like this. Hit it like this. Guys, we're gonna make America skinny again. One snap at a time. It's guys, we're gonna make America skinny again. One snap at a time. It's guys, we're gonna one snap at a time. One again. One snap at a time. One snap at a time. Guys, we're gonna one snap at a time. One again. One snap at a time. One snap at a time. We're gonna one snap at a time. One snap at a time. Guys, we're gonna one snap at a time. One snap at a time. One slap at a time, where you guys, where you One slap, one slap at a tap at a slap, 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 slap. My hands mixed with slap chop. You can be in a great mood all day, cause you're gonna slap in your troubles away with a slap, you slap, slap in your troubles away with a slap chop. My hands mixed with slap chop. You can be in a great mood all day, cause you're gonna slap in your troubles away with a slap, you slap, slap in your troubles away with a slap chop. Daisy, you just got one hand and chop, 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 chop. <laughs> There's tacos, fettuccine, linguine, martini, bikini. Oh, there it is. Steve Porter has put this together. Oh, yeah. The uh, magic of Steve Porter, though. And you did this just from your house? You didn't know uh, uh, well, I Vince mean, at all? Uh, no, I had no relationship with Vince at the time, but I was just having a good good old time in the studio. And, uh, you yeah, know, I just saw the, I saw the brilliance in the infomercial, and I was like, you know, I think I can do something with this. So, uh, but actually, this is the first time uh, that we really had a solid airplay on uh, on. Uh, oh, Main is that Street right? Radio. So you, you guys got the honor. All right, so this, yes, this is historical. This, yeah, this, yeah. Thanks, this, is, this is gigantic. It's like when the Beatles came to America. Yeah, this is America. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so Vince, do you do you plan these things, or you're just improvising? No, I, you know, I'm always I'm always thinking from a business standpoint. You know, it's like everything, like from the shamrock, the slap chop, whatever I do. It's like, you know, I, I look at things and I try, try to capitalize on it. I, I knew that his uh, remix was hot, and it was like the second best thing on YouTube. YouTube is like the next MTV, really. I mean, right. there's no more videos on MTV, so really, YouTube is. So yeah, everybody who goes to music goes for that. But yeah. uh, you know, Steve, from your point of view. Yeah. Uh, he could have shut you down. You could yeah. have gotten a exactly. cease and desist. Exactly. You know, there's been. Right, wait a minute. I should have. <laughs> yeah. I could have got some money out of him. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I could have got a check or something. You know, you you see articles about it. Actually, people are like, "Is this brilliance or or uh, thievery?" And I mean, I guess you know, you just take a risk. You know, you put it up on there, and hopefully, uh, you know, in this case, you know, I was just trying to shed a positive light on right. on the whole on the commercial, make it sound great. You know, and I think that's you know, it's that's where it either lived or died. Right there. Yeah, and of course you have no idea whether or not it's going to work. I remember when the guy did the uh, Bush doing the, what was it, In the Name of Love or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Pulling it together. That thing ended up being pretty brilliant. Totally. And, you know, uh, the the kind of cool thing, I guess, is just unplanned. You just yeah. don't know what's going to work. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. I remember I did, like, I did a movie a long time ago, 10 years ago, and I, I did a skit called I Hate L.A. based on I Love L.A., and I asked... Uh, the singer uh, Randy, Randy Newman. Newman. I said, "Can we do it?" And he, he said, "No." But you know, we did it based on the parody. Uh -huh. he never said anything, but he never like supported us. But uh, so I thought that's not cool. I mean, because it was a fun. Like right. I hate. I'm singing. I'm driving around with the crappy car, singing. I hate. I hate L.A. and all that uh -huh. stuff on it. It became out pretty funny. But so yeah. I thought, you know, to do the reverse flow and like help Steve out because yeah, he did I a really think even job. like Weird Al Yankovic has to go through that and yeah. and pay for it, you know, that everybody would get a, a cup of. So this is another direction you've been going into, Dave, in the future. Okay. Maybe even during the commercial break. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I want you to start work on okay. making something fantastic for YouTube. All right. Uh, guys, uh, well, I was going to hire him to do other products. Uh, okay, well, I, you know what? There's no one doing it right I now. Because yeah. I'm not. I do it for my own products. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God. I know. I, you know we'll set him up some. Can I exchange? We'll I get involved? a cut, though. I get a cut. Yes, I hooked you up. He's willing. Uh, he wants you. to be. Uh, he wants Sign this guy. This guy's good. I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, he is. He's strong. And well, John, uh, look at me. Yeah. He's, got, he's got the right hair. I'm yeah. telling you. He does give up. 
Uh, Vince Offer and Steve Porter, thanks for coming in, guys. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thank you. Really, really it was cool. a great time. DJSteveporter.com. We got you guys the sham wows in this slap. Oh, you can fantastic. <laughs> slap your troubles away. Oh, whenever yeah. you're going <laughs> to slap nuts. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, the ladies will love your nuts. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to spill you. something, too. Well, yeah, you get you uh, a spill and everything. For you back in the back. He's got one for Fez. Oh, oh thank you, very sweetheart. Nice. Uh, all right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank uh, you. We'll be back. Dave, try to work on okay. a on a hip hop song during the break. <laughs> all right, yeah, we'll be, cool. be right back. Let's right know about it. Ron Bennington and Watley. It's the Ron and Fez show on XM two o two Sirius one ninety seven. Are you tired of using sprays that only mask odors? Hi, Billy Mays here for One Odor. The first time you use it, you'll be saying, What Odor? It's a Ron Fez show. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. A uh, complete shoot here. The Shamwell guy loves Dave. And they uh, kept talking after uh, and during the break. And he's offered uh, Dave to call him up and maybe go over there. Dave is putting together the uh, his own rap song for us, just like the Shamwell rap song which now we understand is the number two song in America. A wild guy, huh, Fez? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that's part of his pitch appeal. You think? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the, the eyes actually focus at all. Um, I got in this debate with someone last night. They told me no difference at all between mayonnaise and Miracle Whip. I said, you're out of your mind. I couldn't eat Miracle Whip on a goddamn